What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the NVL2 function. Now, what exactly we are going to discuss in this session? So in this session, we are going to discuss the INHTR function. Yes, we are going to discuss the INHTR function. So let's begin. So guys, what is INHTR function? INHTR function is nothing but it is used to find the position of a substring from the sum string so that is nothing but your INSTR function now let's discuss this in detail with the help of one example so as you can see on the your screen this is the one string I have written corporate floor in this string I want to know the position of a substring and that substring is R and I want to know the uh, second occurrence position of on R okay then how you can achieve you can achieve with the help of INSTR function so guys I hope you have understood what exactly the INSTR function INSTR function is nothing but it is used to find the position of a substring from the semi-string and you can find the particular occurrence position as well and you can start from the particular position as well so that is nothing but your INSTR function now let's discuss the syntax part of the INSTR function so guys as you can see on the your screen this is the syntax of the INSTR function in which it required the four argument the first argument can be your string or the column name in which you want to know the uh, position of a substring second argument is nothing but your substring of which you want to know the position and third argument is nothing but your from which position you want to start the counting or from which position you want to start the finding of a uh, substring so that is nothing but your third argument and fourth argument says that which occurrence position you want first occurrence second occurrence third occurrence which positions occurrence okay so that is nothing but your syntax part so guys i hope you have cleared with the syntax part what exactly syntax part now let's understand this with the help of one example. So as you can see on the your screen, this is the one example of the INHTR function. Now let's understand how exactly you can read it this example. So you can read it like that. In corporate floor, find the second occurrence of an R and start searching from the fourth position. So this is how you can read it this example. Now, what is the output of this query or what is the output of this example? The example's output is 14. Now, you can say that how exactly 14 can? Can you explain me? Yes, let's understand that too. So, as you can see on the your screen, I have written the corporate floor. Below that, I have written the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 15. That is nothing but your position of an each character. Okay, before I start the my discussion on the how exactly 14 came, I would like to tell that whenever your third argument is positive, then you have to count from the left hand side to right hand side. Let me repeat, whenever your third argument is positive, then you have to count from the left hand side to right hand side. Okay, as you can see on the your screen arrow is indicating the uh, counting direction or searching direction I can say that okay now uh, whenever your third argument is negative then you have to count from the your right hand side to left hand side as you can see on the your screen arrow is indicating the counting direction so this is the thing you have to take care now let's understand how exactly 14 came so in our example I told you that my third argument says that from which position I have to start so as you can see uh, uh, pointer is pointing to the P why it is pointing to P because it is at the fourth position and I have uh, counted from the uh, left hand side to right hand side why because my third argument is positive so that's why I have counted from the left hand side to right hand side and I went up to 4 because my third argument is 4 now this part is clear I think now now from the fourth position I will find the second occurrence of an R which is at the position of an fourteen. so this is how the fourteen came so guys I hope you have cleared with the how fourteen came now guys if I will change the third argument as minus 15 then what would be the output 
you have to tell me in the comment box so guys i hope you have cleared with the what exactly the instr function and still it is not clear then watch my practical session in that you will definitely understand what exactly the instr function is so let's go for the practical so guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the instr function now it's time for the practice so before we go for the practice i would like to tell something about the dual table because we are going to use the dual table in order to understand the instr function and rest of the function okay so what is dual table dual table is nothing but it's a default table or dummy table or it's a placeholder of an a table so that is nothing but your dual table as you can see on the your screen i have written one query in which i am writing select a star from dual table and this is the result of the dual table in which you can see there is one dummy column and some dummy values there so from here you can say that it's a dummy table or it's a placeholder of a table so that is nothing but your dual table now let's understand the what exactly the instr function and how exactly it works so let me go to the one another editor so as you can see over here this is the syntax i have written over here in which uh, uh, the uh, instr function is taking the four parameter so what all these four parameter is let's understand so this is the first parameter which is nothing but your string or column in which you want to search and you want to find the position of a substring so substring is this second parameter is nothing but your substring of which you want to know the position number in which you want in this string or in this column okay second thing from where you want to start the search and third is nothing but occurrence of which occurrence you want position number so that is nothing but your occurrence okay now as you can see over here this is the a uh, query i have written for the explanation purpose and this is the our example we are going to understand and as you can see over here this is the number i have written in order to understand easily what is the number uh, or position number of this characters a b c d i have written over here so you can see over here this is up to 9 character i have written okay so uh, let's understand Uh, this is the instr function okay and uh, i'm using over here dual table which is nothing but your placeholder of a table because select a statement cannot execute without the uh, table so i have placed over here uh, placeholder now let's understand the instr function what exactly and how exactly it is working so as you can see over here this is the instr uh, function a uh, name i have written over here this is the first parameter in which i want to search and i want to know the position of this c okay and from where i want to search from the second position and which occurrence i want the third occurrence occurrence position so let's understand so as you can see over here let's let's run first and then we will understand okay so it is giving this seven number this function is giving this seven number how exactly is seven number come let's understand so what a uh, this function says that start the search from the second position so let me go to the second position this is first and this is second now which occurrence you want third occurrence of c so third occurrence of c is which one this is the first and then this is the second okay and this is the third one okay so this is the third one which is nothing but your seventh number you can see over here on the top uh, c is, uh, on the top of c seven number position is there so that's why it is coming as a seven over here even though you can count over here from here, over here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 this is the seven number so that's why it is coming a seven now guys i if you make as a zero over here then what is the result can you tell me let me pause this video or let me stop over here what is the result tell so over here the result will be zero because how you we do not have position zero a position at least it should be one so that, that's why it is giving us a zero now let's say for example if i will write over here uh, something minus 2 
and over here also it will if i will give the minus uh, 2 then what it will do it will start to search from here this direction so what it will do it will count the two character first so now till over here now from here it will find the second occurrence of the c so from here from here second occurrence is one okay and then this is second okay this is second occurrence it will find now it will give the position of the this this c okay so it will what is the position of this c it let's count from this side this side not from this side okay so it will count from this so one two three and four and five so it will give the five over here so you can see over here so what it will do it will uh, uh, search from this side but the position will number will be from this side okay so position number always and always fixed this whatever you can see over here so this is nothing but your INSTR function now same thing you can execute on the column so let me execute so as you can see over here uh, e is the is ease of uh, second occurrence is 5 so that's why it is giving the fine number so this is all about the INSTR function guys I hope you have understood what exactly the INSTR function and guys if you haven't understand still then please let me know in the comment box because I know this is little bit tricky and little bit difficult to understand what exactly the INSTR function so that I can again make a video more easy and uh, in another, another words okay so let's go for the assignment and guys if you like the video then hit the like button share it subscribe it thank you so much for watching for the video bye take care